I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in, and this time for a very special edition of the Dr. Bell Show. So I wanted to share with you about the fact that your internet privacy is much less than it was. <laughs> uh, the Congress critters in Washington have <sighs> been playing around again, and this time what they've done is they've taken away some of your internet privacy rights, as, as it were, <clears throat> and uh, I'm not real thrilled about it, but there are things you can do, and that's what I wanted to talk about on this special edition that we're calling it the Privacy and Security Edition. There's a couple of things you can do, and I encourage you to do it. One, you could use a VPN. Now, that will encrypt all of your traffic across the web, no matter what you do. It'll be encrypted in a tunnel, and people won't be able to spy on you. Won't be able to find out what you're sending and where you're going and all that kind of thing. If you don't want to buy a VPN, I can kind of understand that. Because that software does cost you on an ongoing basis. There are some free things that you can do that at least will be a little bit better than what you're currently doing, which is nothing. In the case of most people. All right. Uh, A, use Chrome. Okay. Then use Chrome plugins. There's two Chrome plugins I want to talk about. One is called uBlock Origin. Okay. uBlock Origin. Now, you've got to be sure to, to use that specific phrase when you search for it in the Google Play Store because there's some other plugins that are pretending to be as good as this one, but aren't, okay? So, the letter U, block, one word, and then separate word, origin, as it says there on the screen. Look that up, install that plugin, it will block third-party cookies, it'll block various sites, it'll allow you to use uh, blacklisting and filters, and you can whitelist things. Lots of different things, but it is a very useful tool. It's one that I use in my Chrome browser. Then the second one is very unusual as far as the name is concerned. It's called the Privacy Badger. Privacy Badger, I know. As it says there on the screen, that's, that's a little odd, but <laughs> it's very useful. Uh, it is from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and I really like these guys. They're out to protect your privacy. They're out to protect your rights online. So, install Privacy Badger. You can just accept the defaults, and it will help protect you as well. So, here's, here's our checklist. Use VPN if you want to, if you can afford it and want to. Or alternatively, or somewhat better... Uh, then nothing <laughs> is Privacy Badger and uBlock Origin plugins in Chrome. Okay? So that will help you stay more private online. Alright? And VPN is best, no question. Now, I have a VPN, and I, I don't use it as much as I should. I use it for... Very, very secure transactions, banking, things like that. But, you know, email, things along that line, you, there's still traffic flowing there with information that you don't want people to see. And so that's why you really ought to be using a VPN and secure HTTPS for everything. But, let's face it, some of you won't. <laughs> So that's why I mentioned Privacy Badger and uBlock Origin. Okay, those two things, at least in Chrome, will help that much. And don't click on junk. Don't click on links that you get sent in emails. I mean, that's just common sense. All right? There are times that 
friends of mine will send me a link and I won't click on it. I'll call them up and say, did you really send me this? Well, yeah, I want you to see that. I still usually won't click on it because it's just too open to get trapped, caught by a bad lake. A lake gone wrong, okay? So, I tend to be paranoid online. Maybe not as paranoid as I should be. But I tend to be paranoid online because they're out to get you. There's no question, okay? The only other thing I wanted to mention that is worthy of note this week is that Ubuntu Linux, uh, which is a product of Canonical, I have a hard time pronouncing that, Canon ICL, Canonical, uh, is changing dramatically. They're doing away with their Unity interface. It looks to me like they're downplaying their desktop in favor of servers in the cloud because that's where the money is. But I think it's a big change for Ubuntu. Now, fortunately, Linux Mint, which is built on top of Ubuntu, there's still a lot of good you know, uh, distributions out there, don't get me wrong, but there's cha there are changes coming to Ubuntu that I'm a little nervous about. Okay, so we need to be watching that. I'll, I'll be paying attention uh, to see where this goes. But I'm a little dubious about it, okay? So, security and privacy, changes in Ubuntu, those were the things that caught my eye this week. Not a lot, but enough that I wanted to share it with you. So until next time, remember that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill, the Computer Promotion is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.